Hi, my name is Josh Evilsizer, and today I'm going to show you how to generate AI images from Google Search. Are you watching the right video? Well, if you're interested in creating AI generated images directly from the Google Search bar, then yes. First, some clarifications and redirects. Number one, there are two requirements uh, that you must enable for this to work Google Labs and Google's Search Generative Experience, or SGE. And we're going to cover both of those. The third thing that I wanted to highlight is that Google's Help Me Write feature uh, apparently renamed Google Duet, even for personal accounts, wasn't a thing like a week ago. Anyways, I explain how to use Help Me Write or Duet in video 71, and that's in the video description below. I highlight that because later in this video, I'll explain how this Help Me Write feature works better than the Google search bar image generation for a few reasons. In any event, let's show you how to generate images from the search bar. Here are the requirements. These are the requirements that Google has uh, described. Um, you must have a Google search account, you must be located in the US, and you must use the English language. This is as of October 2023. Here's Josh's requirement. You must be using a Google personal or a personal Gmail or Google account. I've tried it with two different business Google Workspace accounts. No go. Um, give it a shot though, your mileage may vary. All right, so how do we do this? Here's the instructions, and we're gonna jump into the demo. So Alt-Tab brings up my demo screen, and what I'm gonna do here is click a link that takes me directly to labs.google. So labs, you can see that top left there, labs.google, here we are. And we're gonna scroll down to the third option. So there's number one, there's number two, and then help shape the future of information under Google search right here, we're going to click the get started button. All right. And then and now all we need to do is turn on or toggle this SGE option. I'm also going to hit the agree button. Of course, I'm also going to get search lab, get search labs, email updates. Couldn't read for a second. Uh, I'll go ahead and get those updates. Um, I'm going to, enable the SGE while browsing because that interests me as well. I'm not going to enable the code tips because I can't code. Uh, and this thing down here is new, add to sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and add that as well. Start planning. All right. Uh, it took me right to this screen, which I was not expecting. All right. So we're going to try an example now that we've got search generative experience enabled. Tell me about Pier 57 in New York. That's not what I want to do. We want to generate images. So let's go ahead and Windows V will bring up my clipboard. And let's create an image of the Silver Surfer on a Hokusai style wave. And we're going to hit enter and generate. AI generated images aren't available for this search. This is what I want to demonstrate about this versus help me write. The guardrails on this generate images from the search bar function must be so tight. You can't even, you can't mention anything that, that is within the realm of possibility of copyright infringement. Google will not give it to you. All right. So we're going to, we're going to simplify our request or actually we're just going to completely change it. So we know that we'll, we'll get some good results here. How about a create an image of a rebellious dolphin? Can you do that? <laughs> Google's like, I'm happy to do that for you, man. Here you go. Hold on a second. And they say it takes 20 seconds or less. So we'll see. Oh, there we go. Um, all right. We got often get a mohawk, uh, machine guns, rebellious, and skateboard. These are generally the options that the rebellious care cartoons that we get back have. In any event, here you go. This is how it works. What I'd like to show you is you can also do it just, you know, right from here. So create an image of a rebellious dolphin. So right from the search bar, which looks just is taking us right back to here. Uh, it's going to give us some new rebellious, oh, one smoking a cigar. There you go. It's a very rebellious dolphin. Um, what I'd like to highlight is, and you can't see it. Let's see. Let's do this. Let's make this smaller so you can. So this is the Omni bar right here. This is what, what Google calls the Omni bar because you can do so many things from it. So I'm going to show you that you can also search from the Omni bar exactly the way you did from the Google search bar that you're used to. So I've typed my search in here, create an image of a rebellious dolphin. I've hit enter and it's going to do exactly the same thing. So there you go. Just wanted to highlight that neat function. All right. What, what am I forgetting? Uh, 
Google AI image generation, how do you use it? I think we covered everything. Open Google search, tell Google to create an image of, hit enter, that's it. All right, why would you use it? Josh, you didn't tell me how it's better than help me write. Thank you, thank you for asking me that question or stopping me from going forward. Uh, here we go. So let me show you real quick what it wouldn't do in the search bar and what it will do here. So we're in a Google Slides slide, and I'm going to click the Help Me Write button, which now says Help Create Image with Duet, which is a first. It used to be called Help Me Write in Slides. In any event, here we go. Okay, Windows V brings up our clipboard. Create an image of the Silver Surfer on a Hokusai style wave. And we're probably not going to get a Silver Surfer on it. I don't know why I can't figure that part out. Uh, but we're probably going to get a very well-known image uh, of, of this wave um, that Google is not afraid to create in slides. As you can see here, Google did generate it for us. Um, but this is a result you're just not going to get in image creation searches from the Omni bar or the search bar, because again, those guardrails Google has put on it are so, so narrow. Uh, but help me write, I'm sorry, help me visualize in slides, AKA duet, even in personal accounts, um, will help you get past or use the better version of um, image generation. And of course, there's all these options here, et cetera, et cetera, covered in video 71 in the description down below. All right, I think I've hit everything that's important. Um, why would you use it? Great question. It's great at plain language image generation. Uh, it's a really, de it's really decent at cartoons. And when you just need a picture immediately, I mean, right there in the Omni bar, boom, type create, add what you need, hit enter, and you're going to have a picture in a few seconds. So why not? And it's fun. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, please don't forget uh, a lot of link goodness in the video description down below. Uh, like, subscribe, and share uh, if you did like this or someone else might like it. Uh, and as always, if you leave questions, I will leave answers. Now, please go and be productive.